Hello friends, this is Priyanka. Today we are going to solve a problem on cooling and dehumidification process with the help of psychrometric chart. So first I will read what is the given problem. The atmospheric air at 30 degrees Celsius dry bulb temperature and 75% relative humidity enters a cooling coil at the rate of 200 meter cube per minute. The coil dew point temperature is 14 degrees Celsius and bypass factor of the coil is 0 0.1. Determine temperature of air leaving the cooling coil. Capacity of cooling coil in terms of refrigeration and in kilowatt. The amount of water vapor removed per minute. Sensible heat factor for the process. So this was the given problem. Now let us first understand what is the structure for this cooling coil. So we will consider air entering the cooling coil will be our point number one. Then the air leaving the cooling coil we will consider this point two and the air near to this surface of this cooling coil we will consider here the point three. So from this question if we understand the given data then the condition of air when it is entering the cooling coil is given. So what is the given data? That is here the air flow rate is given. So air is entering at the rate of 200 meter cube per minute. Then, then dry bulb temperature at point 0.1 that is TD1 30 degree Celsius and the relative humidity that is 5175 percent it is given. Now here the apparatus dew point is given. So what is this apparatus dew point that is ADP and that is nothing but the effective surface temperature for this cooling coil. So ADP is equal to 14 degrees Celsius and bypass factor 0 0.1 that is given. So we can plot here this data. Now we will write here what is the initial condition of air that is the condition of air at point 1. So TD1 30 degree Celsius 5175 percent and V1 which is equal to 200 meter cube per minute. Then what is the condition of air at coil that is condition of air at point 3. ADP apparatus dew point 14 degree Celsius and bypass factor 0.1. Now, according to this data, we have to plot the point 1 and point 3. So, what is the dry bulb temperature? So, on this horizontal line, dry bulb temperature is plotted and we have to select the line with 30 degree Celsius temperature. And what is the humidity? So, humidity is given that is 75 percent. So, if we observe these blue inclined lines in percentage indicates the humidity. So, here is 20 percent, 40 percent, 50 percent. So, here the line with 60 percent. So, if we observe after 50 percent, there is 80 percent. So, we have to select the line with 75 percent of relative humidity and this temperature line of 30 degree Celsius the point at which it intersects for the 75 percent humidity will give us the point one that is the point of intersection. Now how to select the point three so here apparatus dew point is given so here it is given 14 degree Celsius and we will consider here the dry bulb temperature at this point three. So it is given that 14 degree Celsius. So we have to take the 14 degree Celsius line and we have to extend it up to the 100% relative humidity because the apparatus dew point is having the relative humidity 100% and this point of intersection will give us the point 3. And then we have to join this point 1 and point 3. Now we have to plot the point 2. So how to plot this point 2? So we have to write here the 
what is the bypass factor? So there is the relation in between dry bulb temperature for this bypass factor. So bypass factor is equal to TD2 minus ADP divided by TD1 minus ADP. Now if we observe this, we know bypass factor that is given in the question. Then ADP that is the dry bulb temperature at this point 3 that is also known and TD1 that is the dry bulb temperature at point 1 that is also known. So from this formula we can calculate what is the dry bulb temperature at point 2. So when we put the values then we get what is the TD2 that is 15.6 degree Celsius. So we have to take this uh, dry bulb temperature 15.6 degrees Celsius and we have to plot this point 2. So here after 15 we have to take here 15.6 degrees Celsius temperature and we have to extend this line. So what is the point of intersection? So here this line joining point 1 and 3 will give us the intersection point and will give us the point 2. So in this way we have to select this point 2. Now we will find out what is the dew point temperature for this point 1. So how to find out? Now if we observe here this is the dry bulb temperature. So for this 30 degrees Celsius we have to take this vertical line. And this is the relative humidity that is 75%. So in this way this point 1 is already getting selected. Now how to find out the dew point temperature? So if we observe here is the wet bulb or saturation temperature that is given in degree Celsius that is along this inclined line 5, 10, 15, 20. So these are the temperatures are given. Now from this temperature this horizontal line that are getting extended that indicates us the dew point. So here from this point 1 we have to extend a horizontal line over this inclined line and we have to select what is the dew point temperature at this point 1. So it is equal to 25.2 degree Celsius and we have to note down that. Now we will compare apparatus dew point and dew point temperature at point 1. So if we compare this ADP 14 degree Celsius and dry bulb dew point temperature at point 1 25. 2 degrees Celsius. That means apparatus dew point temperature is less than the dew point temperature of air entering the coil. So from this we have to make one conclusion. So it is since the coil or apparatus dew point is less than the dew point temperature of entering air. Therefore, this is the process of cooling and dehumidification. So we can say that the process 1 to 2 is known as the process for cooling and dehumidification process. So how to define this process? So this is the process of here is the process 1 to 2 that we have to show with arrow. Now we can split this process into two parts. So if we extend this point 1 in vertically downward direction and point 2 in horizontal direction, here is the point of intersection, we will say this point A. Now what is the process 1 to A? Now if we observe this graph here, the moisture content or specific humidity is given. Now this point 1 to A or process 1 to A, this specific humidity is getting decreased. That means this process is dehumidification process. And what about the process A to 2? So from this point A, this is the dry bulb temperature and for this point 2, this is the dry bulb temperature. That is dry bulb temperature is getting decreased. So we can say that process A to 2 is the cooling process. Now we will find out what is the specific volume at point 1. So how to find out? So it is given that volume in meter cube per kilogram of dry air and with the help of 
this red inclined lines if we observe these lines indicate the specific volume so here is 0 0.84 0 0.86 0 0.88 so with this red inclined lines we have to draw a parallel line passing through this point one so here i have shown with the help of red line and now we have to find out what is the value for this red line so it is after 0 0.88 so what is this exact specific volume that is at point 1 so we will say that vs1 is equal to 0 0.884 meter cube per kilogram of dry air that means we have to use the same unit as given in the psychrometric chart now we will find out what is the enthalpy at point 1 and at point 2 so if we observe along this inclined line the enthalpy is given in kilojoule per kilogram of dry air so we have to take here from this point one we have to take the parallel line these lines enthalpy lines are the inclined lines so we have to take the parallel line but passing through this point one then we will get the value of h1 and which is equal to 82 kilojoule per kilogram of dry air now in the same way if we take here the line passing through this point two then we will get h2 is equal to 43.5 kilojoule per kilogram of dry air so this is the data that we have to note down now we will move for the calculation of capacity of the cooling coil. So for this capacity of the cooling coil, we have to find out the mass of air flowing through this cooling coil. So what is this mass of air flowing through this cooling coil? So we have formula of V1 by Vs1. So V1 that is already given and the specific volume we have selected from the psychrometric chart so if we put the values then we will get 226.2 kilogram per minute so what is the capacity of cooling coin in terms of refrigeration that we have to find out so first from this available data we will calculate which is equal to ma that is the mass uh, of air flowing through this cooling coil that is this ma multiplied by the enthalpy difference that is h1 minus h2 so when we calculate this we will get here 8709 kilojoule per minute now the question is that we have to find out in terms of refrigeration so for that we have to divide it by 210 then it will give us 41.5 tr now how to convert this value in kilowatt so here 8709 kilojoule per minute is given now we know that kilojoule per second that means kilowatt so we have to here divide here by 60 that is 8709 by 60 that is equal to 145.15 kilowatt so this is the answer Now we will move for the calculation of the amount of water vapor removed. So amount of water vapor removed that means we have to take what is the uh, specific humidity that is getting decreased. So from this point 1 to point 2 the humidity is getting decreased for, for this process 1 to 2. So what is the humidity that is at point 1. So if we observe here. Uh, along this vertical line the moisture content or specific humidity is given so we have to extend this point one over this vertical line so what is the exact value so we can say that omega 1 is equal to 0 0.0202 and if we extend this point 2 for this moisture content in kilogram per kilogram of dry air so we have to use the same unit and Omega 2 is equal to 0 0.011 kilogram per kilogram of dry air. So these are the values. So from these values, we can calculate what is the amount of water vapor removed per minute. So which is equal to mass flow rate of air, that is mass of air flowing through the cooling coil, that is MA, that we have already calculated, multiplied by the difference in the humidity at point 1 and 2 that is omega 1 minus omega 2. So when we put the value we will get the answer 2.08 kilogram per minute. So this is the answer. 
now we have to calculate sensible heat factor for the process so for that we have to find out what is the enthalpy at this point a that is ha so we know that this is the enthalpy that is given along this inclined line and these are the lines so we have to draw a parallel line passing through this point a so what is the enthalpy at this point a that is 58 kilojoule per kilogram of dry air and h1 and h2 that we have already calculated or selected so when we put the values that is sensible heat factor that is shf is equal to ha minus h2 divided by h1 minus h3 so when we put here here is the h1 minus h2 formula is there here point 3 is not there that is h a minus h2 divided by h1 minus h2 so when we put all the values we will get the answer that is 0 0.377